All right, our next is uh, Blakeless System Design, Douglas Land. Hi, my name is Douglas Land. I'm the director of technical operations for a company in town called Vast.com. We do big data and analytics, and um, we're starting a foray into consumer-facing products. Um, I'm here today to talk about a concept called blameless system design. So uh, I break things a lot. Um, I've broken authentication across all our servers. I've broken syslog basically just by using it. Um, I've <laughs> created havoc via chef runs across the whole infrastructure. Um, I'm probably the worst offender in breaking production. Um, sometimes the breaking that I do is on purpose. We need to make trade-offs. Um, we have goals and objectives we need to meet, and uh, we don't necessarily have time to adhere to standards. Um, sometimes you get to just have to get something done. Um, and somehow I still tend to hold other people to higher standards than I follow myself. Um, every time I come into a new job, I look around the environment and, and look at the choices that are made and the, the uh, technical debt that, we, that is generated and I think, you know, what are these guys thinking? Um, I think we're a little obsessed with technical debt. We spend a lot of time trying to qualify and quantify it. Uh, we try to break it down, measure it, and figure out the actual costs, how to improve our systems to compensate for it. Um, in the process, I think we end up including many things un under the umbrella of technical debt, which aren't actually technical debt. Um, every system or platform that we manage has to be maintained and we have to understand how it's evolving and changing. Um, so what is technical debt? I'd like to qualify it as something that's intentional, um, something that we acknowledge that we'll need to change later. Um, at an individual level, it's an efficiency thoroughness trade-off and at a business level, um, it's things like speed and cost. Um, so if we acknowledge that this is something that we have to do by necessity by business, then um, we shouldn't, you know, we shouldn't take that blame on ourselves for something that's that external. Um, so being blameless, in fact, is beneficial to business. If you're not afraid of retribution, then you're more likely to be honest. If you're, the more honest you are, the more that we can turn situations into learning situations. And, um, sorry. Um, so this is, so the first thing we're going to talk about is goodwill. Um, most people aren't trying to cause issues. Uh, I think it's important to think that, that if people are making mistakes, that those come from a place of misunderstanding and not from malice. Uh, I think most people in this room are probably familiar with, uh, blameless postmortems. I think it's important to remove the fear from the equation whenever we're talking about issues so that we can have a better understanding of those issues. Um, you might be sitting next to the person who's making a tough call that you're about to critique. Um, sometimes that person might be you, so rather than jumping to judgment, make sure that uh, you can understand how, what their narrative is and how they've made their decisions. Um, there's no system that lives in isolation. Complex systems, con complex system interactions can sometimes cause very unexpected behaviors. Um, without experiments, we have no way to qualify our, assumption, or our assumptions about how those interactions are gonna behave. Um, publish everything, uh, whether you expect meets your expectations or not, document your decisions, um, and make sure that other people are able to, to review those and um, that, you know, you're very honest about the trade-offs that you make. Um, broadcast cultural expectations uh, repeatedly if needed. Uh, make sure you have open meetings so other people can share their insights and clearly define positive and negative feedback channels so everyone knows to how to provide input. Um, if some of this sounds familiar, it's because blameless system design concepts are based around DevOps. Um, huge part of DevOps is culture, and hopefully some of this might be actionable, which is something that came up yesterday, I think. Um, it's really hard to change an organization's culture, and it's effectively asking that organization to accept risk, um, the risk of the unknown. And so depending on the organization, it's gonna be like steering the Titanic. Um, but if you're able to pull this off and remove fear as an obstacle to innovation, encourage people to take risks, 
which could lead to differentiation in business, create better feedback loops and improve data flow. Um, this can create more trust and uh, increase the trust levels in your organization. And I think it'll be well worth the effort. Um, I'd love to say that we've actually been through this entire process ourselves, but I don't think it's an actual destination as much as a journey. Um, I'd like to thank everyone who's contributed to the work uh, that I've been, we've been making progress with day by day. Thanks.